when somebody, you know, when you have chills up your back, he says it's all over your body. You look like a chain of people. So, now, notice something when Jose gives me a high five. Watch my hair. You see it? Yeah. Now, what happened to my hair when he gave me a high five? Now, <laughs> Check that out, huh? So what's he doing when he gives me a high five? Discharging. Discharging. So the field density reduces radically, and then boom, my hair falls down, right? Can I have a high five? Okay. So let everybody understand what's going on now, right? When he discharges me, the field density reduces, my hair goes down. That's what's going on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> now, here's another demonstration. Can we do that to one of the girls in the class? Yeah, can we, can we get someone to order those? Morgan. Morgan. Does he have more hair than we do? Morgan, no, Morgan. Does he have your hair follicles? <laughs> it's, uh, well, it's, it's kind of, uh, you know, not too bad for you. Now watch what happens here and tell me what's going on. Let's put more of them in there. Here, let me fill it up. Good. Put it back on. Now, I want you to tell me why this happens. You want to go to the bike. Now, just so you know, um, you can estimate how many volts potential is on this thing by a simple method. It's called, how many inches is the spark? Because air will discharge at 10,000 volts per inch, approximately. So for every inch that you have a spark for, that's how many volts you probably have before it discharge. Do you understand what I'm saying? So we'll do that. We'll measure that in a minute. That'll be my unofficial volt meter. Now, yes? Can you go to Trump and measure it? In a minute. Just now, watch what happens to this. Keep an eye on it. Why did that happen? All right. Now, we're going to turn off the lights and cross map the voltage. So, oh, America's going to turn that way. I really want to touch this. It doesn't hurt. It's kind of tender. All right. Now, hit see how many. Let's let it build up a little bit. See how many inches this part is. Oh, oh, oh. 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 The thing is, the current is controlled here, so it's not like going through you or anything like that. But your resistance of your body is about 10,000 ohms. So if you use Ohm's law, 60,000 volts divided by 10,000 ohms, it's about 6 amps of current potentially here, which could kill you. However, because it's such high frequency, it probably won't hurt you at all. Okay? That's pretty good. Why is it purple? Why is it purple? Where does the color come from? Yes, Valerie. Because the electrons are falling from a very from a very far from a further order. Yes. And when I do that, they emit light. And they emit light. Photons. And the farther they are from the ground state, the farther they are from the ground state. Okay, turn it up, please. Before they fall, makes the color closer. More UV. Yes. A higher energy, more ultraviolet. So that's why. So that's pretty good. It's it's the discharge in the air is enough to where you get electrons that are. Well, it's probably a little bit of mixture of colors, but we see more. All right. Any questions about electrostatics? Can we touch it? 
Okay. And there's another experiment we can do. We signed a waiver. Okay, you want to be next? Yeah. Okay, good. Really? Now, now we're going to light up some stews. As I told you, we're going to America, yes. America, yeah. And now, here's what we're going to do. Go ahead. We're going to let his hair stand on him. And it's going to take a minute. You feel it? Yeah. It's making all the hair on your body kind of go out perpendicular to the surface of your skin. So what's happening is he has increased the surface area. Shake your head a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Again, he's trying to it follow the lines of force of the electrical static. Like that doesn't, the person touches him. <laughs> 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 that doesn't. Now he's done with that. I got a little shock. No, it's not going to hurt you. It'll hurt you. Now. It's like all of you. Yeah. All right, let's do a human circuit. You want to do a human circuit? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I want, I want uh, about six people this way holding this. And somebody can make a mark and say, I'm going to stand there. We're going to focus on the circuit. We're going to stand somewhere so I can film this. Somebody stand up here. Yeah. 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 Okay. Now, just, just so you know, guys, I did not coerce you out of it. This is for science. Steven, are you going to do it? Yeah. Steven, why would you do it? You have no hair. No, no, what you want to do? Listen up. Let's get it. Hold hands. Put Valerie's hand. Okay. Jose, you gonna be I would put your phone down. I'm like, get out of the way. <laughs> yeah, would not be a good idea. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Does it hurt? Okay, go on. Don't turn it on yet. Don't turn it on yet. Whatever Here's what we're gonna do. Who's gonna get like a good one? I don't know. Now, what we're going to do. I love the slides. Wait, does it make a miracle? Oh my god, it's gonna be a boy. Does it hurt? This is this is a discharge terminal. And this is a discharge terminal. Do not touch it till you get it. Not really. No. You're actually in the discharge terminal. Now what we're gonna do, what we have done here is made a human battery. This is a human battery. Turn it on. Turn it on. Okay. Now let it let's let's let it build up for a little bit while I discuss what's going on here. We're on. What you want to do is you want to do a high five when I tell you to. Now these guys are part of the big turtle, and those guys are part of the small turtle. It's like a plus and a minus of a battery, right? So here we have. These are like, everybody's like a cell. Like, so now, put your hands up. So here's what happens in this battery terminal if you touch, go ahead. Touch hands. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the lines of force of the electrical static. 
That's like Medusa. Anyway. Yeah. No. I bet he knows there was Why? Yeah. All of her, each one of the is charged the same. So they're all trying to get away from each other. Right? Oh. No, no, he wants to be slapped across the cheek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, well, I saw a little bit too much enthusiasm when that saw. <laughs> and you, I think you drowned yourself a little bit when you stopped. Anyway, this is good. Um, so the, we can see a little bit of the non-linearities of the field up here around the edges of the hair. Yeah. All those are split ends. Right. Oh. Oh. Now, you notice that... Uh, yeah. You got real good on your side, Joe. So why is her hair standing up like that? Oh, trying to get away from it. Yes, and it's trying to help. The hair is trying to help everything else. Because it's all the same time. So it's getting as far away as it possibly can yeah, from all the other guys. And it's following the lines of force to the first time, too. Isn't that interesting? All right. Thank you. I think that's enough, Alex. Thank you. Now she's going to go touch somebody. Now, I think that's enough damage. Let's see what the name of the light plate's Then you need to ground it. I didn't so let's see if we can launch plates again. Yeah, of course. No, No. Oh, no, 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 no. I know what you're doing. Hold on. I want to maximize the surface though. Uh, oh. Now we can get a good shot. Oh, oh. 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 Okay. That's enough of that. Now, the last thing I wanted to discuss was in the 1890s. Gilded Age. Steady hand and hoe. Really wealthy people used to have mandagraphs in their home. 